Hey guys, Brian over here. I just finished the video doing my undercarriage with the fluid film spray and I'm happy because I'm relieved. That took a little longer than I thought and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I'm installing the Tiger soft with a hard frame trifold tonneau cover for my 2021 Tacoma. So let's check it out. I want to take off this guard here and get one of these guys on with the lip facing down. And I want to put the guard back on and tighten this down using the little tool that they gave me. I'm going to take the guard off on the front here, put another bracket with the lip facing down, but I'm not going to tighten this one down. And then I'm going to carefully take this this loose for now. On the Tacoma you have this little gap over here that's gonna allow air and water so they provide you these two little foam squares and on the instructions it shows that you shouldn't put them down vertical you want to do them horizontally like this so you don't want to go down like that you actually want to go down this way so let me show you how I get these. I need the help of a tool I have a Phillips here. I'm going to be extra careful not to scratch up the plastic, but I'm going to be needing two hands. So let me show you the finished product and bird's eye view. I have it lined up pretty good. There's the side view and I want to get it down into here. So you'll see on the diagram that the foam is actually lining up with the top part here, not the bottom. So I'm going to make sure that it's lined up with this, not with this. I want it lined up with this. Just to show you, I'm very gently, because it's leaving little marks, I'm very gently digging in and just pushing it down a little bit. It's lined right up with this. Let's get the tonneau cover on. All right, so next up, I wanna take it out of the case that it came in and rest it on the truck with the emergency straps facing closest to the cab. So these red straps, these are gonna be closest to the cab. Now the emergency strap here it's supposed to go in the same bracket as this, but I'm actually going to tilt this forward, unscrew that, and install it onto this, which is the outside most setting on both sides, and then rest it on the truck. Now that that's unscrewed, I jiggled it a little bit and a little nut came out. So I'm gonna pull this out here so I can move it over one position. My finger, I can just tighten that up and it's in the last position. So just to reiterate, what I did is totally optional, but I unscrewed the latch here and moved it to the most outside setting. And on the other side, I moved it from the center to the outside setting. All right, so here it is on the truck. And now my goal is to line up the actual body of the tonneau cover with the body of the truck. 
All right, so the space is pretty even all the way down. And on my passenger side, I have about a pointer finger. On the driver's side, I have about a pointer finger. So I'm ready to start putting things together. The kit also gave me some extra spacers. So in order for this to not work so hard clamping down to the bracket, I'm gonna add one more spacer. And not too bad for one hand. All right, now that I got the second spacer on here, I want this lip to bite into that part of the deck rail system. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening it up. Now just remember, you're working with plastic on metal. So once this is in there, you don't want it to be over tightened because you're just gonna start eating through the plastic. And then you're never gonna be able to tighten it any less than what you had it screwed onto. So I'm just gonna start doing it. Get a feel for it. Loosen it up, making sure it's straight. And That's good enough for me. Now, this bracket that I left loose, I'm gonna put right next to it, and I'm gonna tighten it up. Remember, it doesn't have to be super tight. And that's what I'm gonna use for the emergency strap. Like I said, you could have used it with this, but by crossing it like that, if this gives that bracketing system, it's it's got its own thing. I take this guy, I feed it in, and I give it a tighten, and that's gonna be our backup strap just in case this guy fails. thing on the driver's side. Go ahead and tighten that up. And we're almost done. Okay, now I'm gonna unclip these. And I'm gonna start folding it down. From what I've read about these weather strippings, if you don't keep an eye out, when you're folding it down, they could crease. So just keep your eye out that this folds down properly without bending back up. And as I do the first level, I'm gonna to check to make sure everything is even. And just to show you, this weather stripping is gonna to wanna to fold into itself. So I'm gonna to help to guide it. That way it goes down properly. Let's check the other side. <coughs> yep, the other side's acting up. Sure, there's a way they can redesign that. Let's leave it slanted. Check the other side. All right, we're looking good. Now let's do the finger test. Let's see, got about a pointer still. Got about a pointer still. So it's looking good. Let's wrap it up. So same thing here when I'm folding down the other one, it wants to fold into itself. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that to stay the way it is, 
but I'm gonna guide it with a flathead on both sides and then we're gonna talk about how to use the clamps. Hopefully over time, these weather strippings here are going to kind of just bend in naturally because I don't wanna have to push this every single time on both sides, but we'll find out. All right, so with the everyday use clamps for clamping it down, I mean, as you can see, when you put it down, it rests in this position, which is totally normal. And I did have to guide the weather stripping with a flathead. I might just keep my flathead with me. I mean, I should have a flathead everywhere I go, but maybe I'll just keep this cheap one with me just for the first few times I use it. But for these, what you'll wanna do is pull this down. And this lip here is gonna bite into this, but I need to spin it to lower it down. And it takes a little bit of finagling to figure out how far down it has to go on each side in order for it to be tight enough where it's gonna hold a seal, but not so tight that you're stressing out this plastic on metal tension. So let me adjust these and I'll show you how they clip in. All right, so pro tip, what you wanna do is you wanna turn this, you wanna turn it lefty loosey until when the handle is bent and you're pushing down on the top, you can just get it in the lip like this. That way, when you do that, it's gonna create a nice tight grab. And right over here, Now that one can go a little bit lower. And this isn't moving at all. I think this one was a little bit too tight. So I'm just gonna lower it twice here. Yeah. Actually. There you go. Perfect. So there's some extra weather stripping that Tiger gave me that I'm not gonna be using. Also, two more of these silver brackets. I don't know if you can see. And I have two additional spacers in there. I'm going to keep that stuff just in case I need. I like the bag that Tiger gave me. I'm going to save that as well in case I ever need to take this off. But I'm getting the truck ready for a trip down to Tennessee for a week with my friends and my lady. So this is going to be nice to keep the rain and the snow and the dust and everything off the truck. And there it is. Looks a little better than I thought. All right, let's wrap it up. Now I wanna do a flashlight test just so I can show you how tight the fitment is. I have my flashlight that also operates as a lantern and I'm gonna run it on the outside and we're gonna see how much light comes through. That's a tight fit. Let's do the other side. So that's a nice tight fit in here. Then I'm gonna rest the camera down and I'm gonna get the corners. I suspect there'll probably be a tiny little spot, but let's check it out. So yeah, you probably saw a little bit of light, but I suspect this is going to keep a majority of the water out and it's going to keep our duffel bags dry and whatever else I decide to keep in here. Let's wrap the video up. 
so thanks again for watching another one of my videos i just wanted to say thank you to my supporters and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing my channel's been kind of oriented more towards my tacoma lately just because with the chip shortage we're starting to run out of cars so i hope you find value in the video if this video helped you please give it a like and let me know if you have a tiger tonneau cover i'd love to hear about it and what you think until then i'll see you in the next video peace Damn that green, look at it.